Okay, well, welcome. It has now been over a week since I originally posted these pictures of this pile of coins. And this is the second time I've attempted to do this recording because that's what happens when you do things live without a script. I also don't have a door on my studio, so I have to do it when people are either not awake or doing other things. I had a problem with the voice levels last time I did this and also did a very, very, very poor job. So, um, anyway, this is what started it all. This is 10 pounds of assorted world coins that came to me in a pile from an auction. Um, and I paid, I don't know, like $100 for it or something like that, which is probably a little bit more because I can get it for cheaper in other places, but it, it depends. Um, of note, I just want to say there was no silver in here at all. Um, this is not a, the whole 10 pounds. There's some in the, these um, envelopes because I had to take some away. For example, um, the German coins, there was just so many of them, I had to pick some up because they were falling. The pile kept falling over. Anyway, if you scroll in here, a little bit we can see let's just take an aerial view now this is in kind of alpha not alphabetical order kind of um, world order down here is Africa this is the South African pile other African nations um, as we come up in here um, into the Middle East um, this is Jordan Israel I'm not just a whole pile of stuff I don't know what it is yet and then as we follow over in the east this is all the stuff that doesn't have no, I'm sorry to my Korean and Japanese and Chinese and Taiwanese um, friends uh, there's no indication that any of these are any of those countries so all of these are some one of these countries um, you know and then we get down in here there's in Australia and New Zealand this is like I said this is a sort of a world map not quite um, I like this one big these big coins none of these were silver um, and then over here uh, this is I'm just kind of scrolling over here we had uh, South America Central America Mexico um, these are the Caribbean nations, and there's some pretty cool stuff in here. And then, uh, uh, no, no North America. I didn't get any American or Canadian coins in this packet of world coins, which actually is pretty good considering where I live. Um, there was one Canadian dime. <laughs> anyway, here we are over in Europe. Um, here's Spain, some Portugal. All this pile is France. Now, there's an interesting thing about France. There's like... There's modern France. There, well, there's how do I put this? There's First Republic France, or not First Republic. That was a long time ago. There's early 1900s France. Then there's Vichy France. Then there's uh, mid-century France, and then there's even modern France with these Euro-looking things. So it's pretty interesting there. Um, I have some British coins. A lot, a big pile from Ireland. Interesting. I threw the Euro on there for whatever reason. Um, some stuff over. In, uh, this is took me a while. Oops, took me a while to realize that that was Iceland, but that got isolated over there. Um, and this is a lot of got a lot of a uh, lot of Netherlands and then a little Belgium here um, more England more or more Britain and then this is a lot of random Scandinavian stuff that needs to get go, gone through because I basically anything that had like a, a slash through an O or, or one of them little things over the top of their head and, and had some kind of word a kroner attached that I got over there so um, Lots of German stuff. In fact, I have probably because German, because German Deutschmarks are still traded openly against the euro. I can take these to a bank and 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 replace them. They're worth about fifty. Uh, a mark is worth about uh, fifty cents. So there's a good pile of money right here. Actually, not that I'm ever going to get rid of them, but I just thought that was interesting. Um, and then back around, I've got this little pile over here of whoop de doos and interesting things and this is my pile of extra shiny stuff so this is what we were, the whole thing started with uh, and i just want to mention that this whole thing is sponsored by me and my etsy page and my um, coin cages and silver coin jewelry that you can find links below and check out what's going on with all that stuff um and if you think anything you see in here that you like that you'd like to make a wrap and put a pendant on you can carry it as a keychain or, or wear it as a as a, as a as a as a necklace that's what i do nice wire wrapping stuff but i also like just the beauty of it all now what did i do with all this stuff let's see if i can make this work here uh boom, boom. okay so i let's see if this work if we can see this lots and lots and lots I picked them up kind of by continent so we'll have another chance to go through them again 
But what I want to show you here today, because there's quite a bit of stuff, and I'm going to try to keep this under 10 minutes. I hear the baby stirring, and people are waking up and stuff. So what I wanted to show you was two, two piles of, of coins that I separated already. Let's see if this works. What a janky setup. It's going to get better as we go. First thing is these just odd oddities and weirdo coins. Um, let's see. Is that about it? Yeah, that's about it. Where the zoom comes. Okay. Well, here's a here's a Toys for Tots token, which is actually pretty nice. If you know, um, something that the Marines do every year, and I've participated in some local events before. I did. Th so this is kind of cool. Oh, by the way, this is our our uh, our microscope over here. Um, a couple of hold coins. I think these are uh, both Mexican coins. Um, hold. Uh, they're from the fifties. They're not. They're not silver. I don't think so. I don't know why someone put a hole in them to to carry them around. A lot of times you find silver coins, obviously, that have holes in them. Uh, if anybody's a golfer, I got to get better light in here. Um, if anybody's a golfer then you can see this is one of those things where you put down on the and it shows you uh where your where your, where your glove is or where your ball is when you when you're uh it's a marker golf marker um here's an interesting one completely flat completely nothing um yeah there's some some extra light from my from my hat uh, we'll get better with this. We will get better. Oh, this is the one. This does have some. Now, let's put this under here. And this is the part where I actually stopped the last video because I went. Napoleon. Of course, it's Napoleon, dumbass. So, here, let me put the microscope up. Uh, into the big thing. Okay, so it's Napoleon, probably Napoleon the third, And on the back is... An eagle, if you can see it, you can't see it. There's like some semblance of an eagle. So I'm thinking this is a Mexican coin from the 1850s. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some more research and and dig that up a little bit because that's what I think this is. Um, can't be sure, but I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. Um, that's anyway. That's why it's in the pile of of no return. Um, also, um, one. Yeah, let me put this back here. The camera back to the micro. One. Token from some arcade in Myrtle Beach, Myrtle Beach, uh, South Carolina. So, good for you, Myrtle Beach. Oops, whoa, we broke it. Trying to get the lighting better. I screwed up without the lighting. I've gone everything else, checked out six times, but I forgot the lighting. We'll get there. We'll get there, folks. This is going to be a fun series. Like I said, we've got 10 pounds of coins to go through. All right, back to this, back to this. So we got some hold coins, that one from Mexico that I thought was weird. This one is just completely a blank at this point. Um, I can't make cuts and tails of it. Let's put it down on the micro. You see anything there that you can make heads or tails of? It's, it's not silver because I can see the copper floating through, so... Pretty neat. That got washing machine way too many times. I'm not sure. But um, what else is in here? That's about it. Nothing else. This is this is another completely. This is this is a blank. This is like smooth. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I can't see anything. I don't know if it's a blank or if it was wound down, but it looks completely smooth. Whatever it was. Um, and then last thing, I had two of these. I think somebody swiped one. Um, it's some kind of. I'm having trouble with the light and then looking at my screen uh it's some kind of angel yeah, let's put it over here yeah see and it's not a coin because it's the same on both sides where's the, there she is sorry i'm learning she's the same on both sides and i had two of them somebody in my house swiped the other one so i don't know where the other one went Maybe it's in the pile somewhere, but 
Anyway, that's the interesting grab bag of weirdo stuff that I didn't know what it was or what it is or or I do know what it is and it's not a coin. So And again, <clears throat> We are sponsored today, as, as always, by my own Etsy shop where I make coin jewelry and silver coin wrap jewelry. So check that out. Links below. We'll be wrapping a few of these. Got a big pile of stuff here that we're going to be going through later, but um, I think that's the European pile. Um, yes, I see some French ladies. Um, this is a super shiny pile. I just took these out just because they're... They're, they're just nicer coins. I don't know. Um, here's this. Here's a beautiful uh, 10 kroner from the old Iceland. I love it. I love it. There's... i got to get this lighting right. Uh, there's a Viking and a rooster and a sea monster and a cow. Yeah. Have you ever seen Iceland money? It's crazy. There you go. There's the rooster and the and the cow and the viking and the sea monster. And of course on the back a bunch of fish. Can you see that? Can you see a bunch of fish on the back? So, let's see if I can I'm just trying to get this lighting right. I will have the lighting right next time. I wasn't ready for this, but now I am. I am prepared for next time. Um or I will be prepared for next time. Let's see what we got. Uh, this is this is a Vatican coin, and it's an angel. But it's actually a Vatican coin because there's the Pope, the Pope of the Dopa. Um, this is a beautiful Republic of Kenya coin. I have a bunch of these that are older, that are appear to be more more of more brass. This is lighter, maybe, but it's nice and shiny. It's super nice. Here's another. Uh, drop that over here. Another Iceland coin. This is a golden one. I don't remember how many kroner this is. But I don't know. I just love this seal. I just think that's freaking awesome. And so, um, this I think is Greek, um, and it's got an atom on it, which I thought was pretty cool. So that's why I pulled it apart because it's the only one I've ever seen. It this isn't a particularly nice coin, but here's another. Oh, this is from Zambia, some African, kind of nice. Here's another Iceland. With just the Viking on it. Or that's Odin or something. I don't know. Uh, any Iceland people, let me know exactly what's going on. I know that's great. I'm not making fun. Hey, look. Here's that other that other token I was telling you about. The other angel token. So, there's an angel on one side. And he's an angel on the other side. And I think he's, a, I think he's some kind of weird token. Um, I don't know what this is. Let's see. Let's get it under the micro. And it says, oh, El Salvador. And there's this guy who, I don't know, is he a, he reminds me of the Pope of the Dopa. But that's a really nice looking coin. Um, one thing I noticed, like all these nice coins that I pulled out, here's a nice bird. I think that's a Zambia. Look at that birdo. Um, all these coins are, they feel like coins. They're all made out of different compositions of steel and zinc and copper and, and, and whatever, nickel. And That's a nice one. That, that feels rough cut. It's very interesting. I can't wait to look where this is from. This is uh, some kind of North African or Arabic or something, I think, uh, based on absolutely nothing except some, some of the writing. Um... Oh no! This might, uh, but what is this on the back? So maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that looks uh, Japanese or Korean or something. I don't know. I have no idea. But anyway, the point is, is like as we go further, um, there's an older coin. That's right. I wanted to check this guy out because I wasn't sure how this one might might have a silver. Because I don't think I have a date on this guy. I'm not even sure who he is. So that's why I pulled him out because I'm not sure, but he might be old enough, and it might be. Oh, 
yeah, that's right. And then there's the pentagram on there. So I have 1974. Okay, it's not silver. But I don't know what this is or where this is from. But who's got lions and a pentagram and a rising sun? Hmm, we're going to find out because that's what we're going to do. Eventually, I'm going to look all this stuff up and find out. Curiosity. And I pulled this out. This is, uh, this is a, a, a Balboa from Panama. And it's in the Euro form. I guess we call that with the one coin inside the other. Oh, man, let me get the lighting better next time. You're going to be able to see these better. Super shiny, super nice. Well, anyway, the reason why I pulled this out is because I actually have some silver Balboas. Look at the detail work on his helmet. <laughs> you know, this is just a circulating coin. So, you know, when you stop in... Vasco Nunez de Balboa. You know, even these junky coins from around the world, like, they, they really do put a lot of effort into them, and they really are nice. Like, there's cool designs, and there's... You know, we we honor people that we should, and or you know, or maybe shouldn't. I don't know, but everybody's got their own thing. Look at this beautiful coin from somewhere with a hookah on it. Uh, I almost feel <laughs> I feel like irreverent touching these things, but they are just circulated coins, you know, from around the world. Um, this is obviously oh Emirates, United Arab Emirates. Okay, so there you go. And there's a sword, and that's not a sword, there's some weird, I don't know what the heck that is. But, nice hookah, or coffee service, whatever that is on the side. So anyway, these are some of the nicer coins that I pulled out, that I just thought were interesting, or don't know what's going on, or just are nice. This is five escudos from Portugal, Portugal. Sometimes I think that, oh, well, the Scudo, that must be done from, you know, that could be Spanish, could be Portuguese, that's somewhere down in South America. No, that's actually Portugal. All right, cool. You know, we forget that Spanish and Portuguese uh, actually started in Europe. Oh, and then here's this weird, the Belgian the Belgian abstract guy. There's a bunch of coins like this from, from there with a the weird, uh, not Max Headroom, but he's just this weird abstracted guy with lines through him and stuff. 50 cents, 50 francs. Um so anyway, world coins, lots of fun. World coins are lots of fun. I can't believe we've gone 17 minutes, which is way more than I went the first time before I went, Napoleon. It sounded like uh, the guy from uh, Christmas Story. Um, it says Fragile, must be Italian, right? Um, there's like, by the way, that guy was in a lot of a lot of stuff. He was in way more stuff than I want to give him credit for, and he's a really good actor. Um Check out Kolchak the Night Stalker. Anyway, anyway, if you made it this far, thank you very much. Um, and if you made it this far, there is a coupon code. It says, if you buy something on my Etsy site, and when it puts in the coupon code, say, I made it this far. No spaces. I-M-A-D-E-I-T-T-H-I-S-F-A-R. And since I didn't set up this coupon code yet, I don't know if it's going to fit or not. So whatever it fits. <laughs> um, no, let's make it something simpler. Um, the coupon code will be Perseverant. No, you can't spell that. The coupon code will be... I don't know. There is no coupon code. Guess what? I faked you out. I'm not even going to set one up. But if you made it this far, thank you very much. Um, there will be more installments. Um, and we will do more with this because we are going to get ourselves through all this pile of coins. We're going to go through, look at the African coins. We're going to look at the, 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 what do you call this over here? Indonesia and Australia and the islands and all that stuff. Whatever that subcontinent is. And we got a few Indian coins. We'll go through the Asian stuff. We'll go look at uh, the Slavic stuff. Uh, there's some Russian... Soviet, actually. There's no Russian stuff, I think. Um, and then we'll maybe roll some German coins. Anyway, thanks for thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Um, also, I have more coins to go through So after these events. We're just going to do this for a while. Anyway, thank you very much.